Hey, boys and girls, this is Larry, UBRailroad.com. Check me out. Hey, if you like this, leave a like. If you haven't seen my website, take a look at it, UBRailroad.com. There might be a lot of interesting things there that you might find useful for you uh, in your upcoming projects. But anyway, my latest project is I'm building a 27 and a half inch long truss bridge. And I need everything to be identical. So I'm out in the shop with my big saw because it's the most accurate thing I've got. So here's what I did. I set the blade, first of all, see how it's angled? I set it to 22 degrees. Cut both sides, both sides. And the way I did it is I just measured how long I wanted it, which is 10 and a quarter. And then I set my fence to one quarter and I skimmed them all down so everything will be identically the same. Because when you're building a truss bridge or anything like that where you've gotten a top and a bottom angle, it's very important if it's up in the front like this is going to be, that all of that just matches just as close as you possibly can. So I'm going to have to take extra measures to make this like a real tight looking bridge. So this is why I'm doing it this way. And I thought I'd just give you a little tip. I'm sure most of you people know how to use this uh, table saw but I'm just showing you how I start a uh, truss bridge so hope this helps but uh, give me a minute and I'll get back to you hey boys and girls this is Larry UBRailroad.com check me out hey today is November 5th uh, I am going to build a 28 and 5 8 long trestle I know stupid number but that's just the way it works out I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, I've told you guys in the past that I never draw out anything. Well, this is one item I do have to draw out because these angles are so important if you're going to have something like this right in their face. And that's what this is going to be. When they look at this, they're going to be eye level to it, and it's going to be inches from the face. So it has to be nuts on. Okay? Now, I don't know about you guys, but I never took algebra geometry trig none of that crap okay I have no idea what any of that is so when you go on the internet they start talking about finding formulas and finding angles and theta equals this and a squared plus b squared equals c squared and the opposite to the theta is to pick your nose hey you know what I got better things to do I gotta move on I don't have time to sit here and give myself a three-year high school course on how to figure things I'm gonna show you my way of doing it. Is it the right way? Probably not. Does it work? It does work without fail. And I'm going to show you why. But uh, let me get going. Like I told you, first I drew this out. And then the next thing I do, now these two bars are the 28 and 5 eighths inches long. I want the bridge 9 inches high. So this is 9 inches from here to here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue stabilizers from here to here at exactly 9 inches. Then you could see that I already cut all of these, okay? Um, they're not right, but I'm going to make them right. So I will lay that right here like this. Go on the back side, draw a line on each one of those, and snip them down. It's got to work. Just give yourself a little hair long. Because if it's just a little long, you could always sand it down. But once it's short, it's scrap wood. And we got plenty of scrap wood. We got boxes of it. So we're going to get on with this. And I'm going to get back to you in a little bit and uh, show you my progression. Okay, uh, I want to give you a couple quick tips on uh, putting this together. Uh, what you want to use is like hot glue because when you're all done, these will pop right off. Then I take these little steel squares I bought at Harbor Freight for like a couple bucks. Don't buy them online. They're 20 bucks a piece. It's absolutely crazy. So glue one tip or one end, stick this in here, and squeeze the corners together. It comes out perfect every time. You can't screw it up unless you do something deliberately. But anyway, this is how I do it. Now I'm going to go ahead and stick my upper bar in there, and then I'm going to start making sure that my crossbars or crossboards work real well. Okay, be back. <clears throat> okay, here it is with all of the uh, cross members in. I'm going to have two, one, uh, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, and so on. Okay, so there's basically three of them in there, and then they. They see how they scissor in like that, and the, the, I think, I like that. You know, some people just use a solid piece. 
I want mine to be a little more uh, detailed. So I'm going to go with the uh, splits like this. I think that uh, does make them a little look nicer. Now none of these are glued of course, but you get, you get the picture of what I'm building. And then once I'm all done, then I'll come in and I'll put my bolts and my wires and all my other stuff to, to match it up. And that should look real good. And, and you notice that I'm using uh, the actual cedar uh, stressed wood. I, I tried to get as much of it as I can. Now there's going to be a couple pieces that are going to be white like this. I scuff them up and then I stain them black. They're kind of close, but gives you the idea that they've been boards that have been replaced but anyway this will look good and I may just cut these right here a lot of them uh, they cut right here and right here and they only use a half <clears throat> some of them don't even put this in at all they just use uh, three here and then they go one two and three so I have decided I'll decide once I get to that point but I'm just showing you what what it looks like and where I'm headed be back Okay guys, I got my first tier of cross timbers in there. And I want to show you something. You see how this one right here is right on the corner? That's where I want this one. Now this one here is just a little bit longer. That's okay because you're never going to see this where it goes. I need that little bitty length, but I'm not going to spread these out to try and compensate the difference. Too much work. Hell, just put the damn thing together and, and, and go for it. You know, the main thing is these teepee looking things they have to be exact because you're always going to get somebody in there who carries a ruler in their pocket they're going to pull it out and they're going to measure from here to here and here to here and they're going to come back to you and say oh my god you're one sixteenth of an inch off hey you know what there's my door over and out be back in a minute okay now these are all super glued in uh, I use super glue for this uh, I think it's going to be better than the hot glue because you got spill and strings and I hate that crap okay I did some measuring now we're going to check and we're going to see if my my triangles equals 180 degrees and my a squared plus b squared is c squared and my tangent equals my theta and we're going to see if I passed algebra geometry and trigonometry not I did not I failed trig okay this from here to here nine and an eighth nine and an eighth and then this one right here, eh, I got a little shy on that. That one came out to be, oh, about nine inches. Who cares? Can you see it? Not me. So who cares? Just move on. Forget about it. Go to the next step. See you in a bit. Okay, here it is. Set in place. All three tiers are in. You can see the scissor action in there. Uh, okay, I'm going to set this back a little bit. Okay, now I want you to tell me, guys, look at that real carefully and tell me what you could find that's wrong in there. And I'm not talking about like a little glue spot or something, but tell me what is out of place in that. Let's see how good you guys are. Be back. Okay, this is it. This is side one. Side two is going to be a duplicate to this. And the next time I put a video together, it's going to be side two and uh, the floor and it'll all fit coming up this way, you know, in case it... Now, I want to show you something else I did. Uh, I angled this at exactly the same angle as this on both ends, okay? So you kind of see that. But you kind of see how this is going to go. Now, this will originally, or when it's all done, I mean, it's going to be way, way out here like this. I mean, this thing going to be right up to the tracks. This is going to have probably an 8-inch... Uh, road bed on it or a deck so I uh, give you a little idea but I'm just setting it up there just to give you an idea of what it's gonna look like um, you know so you get kind of an idea you know I think I think overall it's gonna look pretty good uh, especially after I get the bolts in it and get the tie wires in it and uh, you know age it up a little bit and all that and clean it up it'll look good okay this is it for now today is the fifth of November. Not sure when I'm going to finish the rest of it, but I'm going to get on it as soon as I can, but I'm going to post this now. Hope you like it. Leave a like if you like it, or uh, visit my website, uh, ubrailroad.com. I might have some things there that might uh, uh, be interesting for you, but anyway, I'll be talking to you. This is Larry, over and out.